Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we'll solve this problem using the concepts of vectors in R3. So as per the problem, a parallel pipe is determined by the vectors OA, OB and OC. Determine the coordinates of all of the vertices for the parallel pipe. So I have put a picture of a parallel pipe. It's not given in the problem. So this is a 3D shape. And in a parallel pipe, all the six surfaces are parallelograms. So that's a very important concept. You need to understand and memorize about parallel pipe. Now the three given vectors, OA, OB, and OC represent three sides of this parallel pipe. And all three of these vectors start at point O. And O is the origin. So the first step is to label the points O, A, B, and C in this diagram. So point O can be labeled as this corner. And this can be point A. B, C, and then D, and then E, and corner G. Now we know that point O, the origin is 0, 0, 0, so we know the coordinates of point O. Now vector OA is a position vector for point A because it starts at the origin and ends at point A. So the coordinates of point A are negative 2, 2, 5. Similarly, coordinates of point B are 0, 4, 1 because OB represents the position vector for point B. And point C is 0, 5, negative 1. Now we have to find the coordinates of the other four vertices. So let's start with point D. Now we have to find the position vector OD and that will give us the coordinates of point D. Now position vector OD goes from point O to point D an alternate way to go from O to D is to go from O to A and then from A to D. So vector OD is equal to vector OA plus AD. Now since a parallel pipe has surfaces which are parallelograms, in a parallelogram the opposite sides have the equal length and are parallel to each other. Therefore, the vectors that represent opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal to each other. That means vector AD is equal to vector OB. So there's a very important concept we need to understand and memorize. Now we can use the given vectors OA and OB. So we can add their components 
So let's start with the x component. The negative 2 plus 0 is equal to negative 2. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. And 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. So this is position vector OD. That means point D is negative 2, 6, 6. Now we can find point E. So we'll have to find the position vector for E. The position vector OE goes from point O to point E. So an alternate way to go from point O to point E is to go from point O to C and then from C to E. So vector OE can be written as vector OC plus CE. Now since uh, the surface OAEC is a parallelogram, the vector CE is equal to vector OA because they represent opposite sides in the parallelogram. Now we can use the given vectors. Now we can add the components of these two vectors. So we'll start with the x component. So 0 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 2. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. And negative 1 plus 5 is equal to 4. So therefore, the vertex E is negative 2, 7, 4. Now we can find vertex F. So for that we have to find the position vector for point F and that will be OF. The position vector OF goes from point O to point F. An alternate way to go from point O to point F is to go from O to C and then from C to F. So OF can be written as vector OC plus vector CF. Now vector CF is equal to vector OB because they are opposite sides of a parallelogram. So now we can use the given vectors OB and OC. Now we can add these vectors. So we add the x, y and the z component and I got 0, 9, 0. So that means point F is 0, 9, 0. Now we can find point G. So we have to find the position vector OG and position vector OG goes from point O to point G and an alternate way to go from point O to point G is to go from O to C and then from C to F and then from F to G. Now vector CF 
is equal to vector OB because they are opposite sides in a parallelogram. And vector FG is equal to vector CE because they are opposite sides in a parallelogram. And vector CE is equal to vector OA because they are opposite sides in a parallelogram. Now we can use the three given vectors OA, OB and OC. Now we can add these three vectors. We can add their x component. So 0 plus 0 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 2. Now we can add their y components. So 5 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 11. And for z component, so negative 1 plus 1 plus 5 is equal to 5. So that means corner G or vertex G is negative 2, 11, 5. So this should be the final answer for this problem. So these are the steps you have to keep in mind to solve a problem like this one. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.